So you want to aim down sight. Well, I'm going to assume that means you have a setup similar to this. Or if you haven't figured out how to set up an FPS controller yet, check out this rocket launcher video where I go over how to do it. So basically, a main camera with a weapon positioned inside of it. I also have a weapon camera set up to help avoid clipping. You can learn how to do that here. What we're going to do is add an empty game object at the same level as the weapon. We'll call it weapon position. Next, we'll copy the position and rotation values from our weapon and paste them into our weapon position object. Inside of our weapon position object, we'll create another empty that we'll call ADS position. Make sure to reset the transform. We'll then temporarily copy the weapon into the ADS position game object. We can go ahead and reset the transform on our weapon too. Then we'll manually position the ADS position object to one that would match the player aiming down sight. The next part will depend on how you've set your project up. But in my case, I have a weapon manager script which looks after my weapons and their relationship with the cameras. The script is attached to my player object, but we'll need to add two slots, one for the default position and one for the aiming position. But the idea would then be to simply lerp the current weapon position to the aiming weapon position if the player is holding the aim button. We'll also lerp the field of view to a lower value whilst the player is holding the aim button. And if the player is not holding the aim button, then we'll lerp the weapon back to its default position and we'll lerp the camera back to the default field of view value. And really, it's about as simple as that. I've tried to keep this video a bit more conceptual and less beginnery, I suppose. So let me know down in the comments if you're okay with that. If not, let me know as well. Take it easy. I'll catch you guys on the next one.